Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side, and I am here in Blackpool. I am in the tunnel here that links North Station Railway Station with the new Blackpool tram stop right underneath the Holiday Inn. I'm actually starting off in here because uh, it's a bit wet tonight. It's the middle of the week here in Blackpool, and what a wet night it is. Uh, You'll have to excuse the microphone on this video because I'm not wearing my microphone, the wind protection or anything, so the, the audio quality might not be great. But I'll just turn you around to give you a look. This is looking towards North Station. Oh, I think I might need my brolly, folks. Can you see that? It's dripping. It is dripping out there tonight in Blackpool on a Wednesday night. There's a look towards Sainsbury's there. Yeah, it's uh, it's not very nice tonight at all, but uh, anyway, I thought we'd take a little walk through the town and we'll see what's going on. And uh, might be quite atmospheric, you know, with it being rainy and get some nice reflections. As you can see in here, it's still looking quite clean. There's no, nobody's tagged it or anything no graffiti let's hope it stays like this yeah mind you i was watching a video the other week it was billy moore if anyone watches billy moore he was down here and there was someone sleeping in here yeah so there you go just broke into song there as they walked past me yeah. anyway look at this it is now as I'm filming this it's eight o'clock and I've just come up here to the the tram stop and we've actually got a tram here and it's got on there driver training so now you might be aware that uh, they've stopped bringing trams up here after seven o'clock and I think it's temporary, I don't think it's permanent, but they've stopped bringing trams up here. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be for. So we've actually got a tram here, which is a little bit weird actually. I wasn't expecting to see a tram. But there you go. There is a tram here. Oh, by the way, shout out to Greg's. I went to this Greg's the other week and uh, I asked him, I said, how busy are you? You know, what's it like, the footfall here? And they said it's a little bit quiet, so uh, yeah, so shout out to Greg's here at Blackpool North Tram Stop, if, you, if you're around, give them a visit, let's have a little look around, see a bit of reflections there on the, there's the holiday in there, oh I stayed in there, you know what I could really do with going in there now and <laughs> get, getting warmed up because it is it, see it's actually not too cold and as we come out this way oh look at the tower there you go come on look at that and of course we've got a building site over there what are they going to do with this look at it it's all all unfinished isn't it when is this going to be finished off we do not know anyway let's go up these stairs You know, the rain has actually lightened up a bit now. So I've just come up these steps here and we're now up to, well, that Bickerstaff Square over there, just outside the uh, the council offices. And there's a brand new ale, it's called the Rail Sign. Um, a new little pub over there. I don't know if you can see it, it's on the corner over there. It's on the corner there, there's a new light pub. I hope you can hear me okay. Just here we've got Marco's, the Holiday Inn. I just came up those steps there. They look quite fancy, don't they? All lit up there. So let's have a walk through the town, shall we? On a wet Wednesday. I saw that couple going down the steps before. I wonder if they thought that they could get on that tram there. Yeah, here's a little look from the top 
look down on that building site there across towards the flying handbag over there and there's the tram there driver training yeah anyway got my umbrella coat on that fence there let's have a little look through Blackpool shall we nice reflections look at these we'll get some nice reflections off Mark Kelly's as well won't we look at this I think we've got the usual beer monsters outside. Let's head across, shall we? You get some interesting goings on around here. At all times of the day. Very interesting characters. So, let's have a little walk down the tram track, shall we? There's me thinking I won't have to watch out for trams, but there is a tram up there, so. It's going to have to come back this way, isn't it? So let me know what you think about this situation with the trams. Is it all a big waste of money? Just looking over there towards the Victoria. I'll tell you what I might do. I might have a look down Queen Street. Cafe, coffee, Americano. That's that new coffee shop over there. Looks right fancy. I remember when that was Jessup's. Jessup's, the camera store. Yeah. I was never out of that place. Oh, I'll tell you what. There's been a lot of rain, I'm telling you. Sorry about my umbrella getting in the way there. That's the galleon. Again, we've got some nice reflections. It's quite atmospheric, the rain, you have to say. I'll make my way down here, Abingdon Street. And, uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if you know, but this building here, the old job centre, they're looking to turn it into a, an apart hotel. It's been empty for, I don't know. I can hear a lot of shouting. I can hear a bit of rowdiness. Interesting. Well, apart from the shouting, it's uh, pretty quiet down here actually. Look at it. This is Queen Street, folks. This is where it all happens. This is where all the popular bars are. I'm just going past the Slug and Lettuce. We've got Bar 19 over there. It's not banging tonight in Bar 19. And just over here, of course, we've got Walkabout. Notorious. Walkabout's looking very, very quiet. How are you doing? You okay? <laughs> Not too busy tonight, no. <laughs> Some nice reflections going on here though. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a little look at the reflections. So there's Walkabout, nice big puddle outside. So here's a little look at uh, Queen Street on a, a wet Wednesday and I don't know if I've showed you this but just round here just in front of the Soul Suite, Soul Suite's open a lot of people like the Soul Suite but just outside the Soul Suite we've got this here we've got a little garden check it out 
Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anybody sitting out here tonight. It's actually not too bad. It's not, I wouldn't say it was cold, and the rain has eased up a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to head down the strand, shall we? Let's head down the strand. Down here we've got Foo Bars. Well, Foo Bars has got a new place now. Um, on Clifton Street, just up here, we might we might get to see it. It's called is it called the um, the Retro Lounge? I think it's where Marvin's Bar was. That's Pot World down on the right. Get a good view of the tower down here. Look at that there. Yeah, I hardly need the umbrella now, really. I'm only using it because the camera I'm using is not waterproof. We're just going past the counting house. Now we're looking in there. Pretty quiet actually. Counting house has always been popular. So I've now come out into uh, Talbot Square or the North Pier shop. I'm always a bit sad to see the North Pier shop. The North Pier does tend to shut quite early in the week. Because like I said, it's only, well, in fact it's, it's around about a quarter to nine now as I'm filming so it's, uh, time is getting on a little bit but here's a little look around Target Square sorry if the the wind is affecting the I'm doing my best to, so that you can hear me and uh, that's a trilogy there and uh, that's looking down the strand where I've just come from there. so there you go that was a little look around Blackpool I'll just head up this way Market Street again this is another this is another street which is usually quite busy at the weekend with the pubs we've got Yates's we've got the Weatherspoons one of the three Weatherspoons in Blackpool yeah we do have three Weatherspoons in Blackpool this one is the Leighton Rakes and of course we also have Brannigan's and Hush nightclub we did have revolution but revolution is now oh some rowdy rowdy people outside where the spoons <laughs> rowdy bunch we'll just take a little look down here shall we West Street. The night is not open. Look, God, I've been down here so many times when it's hard to even get past people because it's so busy. And now look at it, it's dead. Nobby's karaoke bar. Nobody singing karaoke in there tonight. But we'll get a little look at the illuminations. I'm going to wrap this up now as I get across the road. Let's let's take a look at the illuminations as I come out onto the promenade. Oh. Shenanigans. Shenanigans is they're open. Look at that. There you go. Shenanigans is always open. Well, there you go. But anyway, I am going to head across the road. We'll take a little look at the illuminations. And let's have a look, shall we? Time has gone off now. Look at that, dude. We've got to turn the tower off just, just as I get here. The tower's in darkness. But it's a good time to come and see the illuminations when it's raining. When the ground's wet, you get these amazing reflections. That's one thing that the rain does. If you come to see the illuminations, and don't forget as well that if you come in the week, well, you'll have a lot easier time. You won't get stuck. Anyway, the tower's just lit up again. There you go. It must be the light pool show. So that's how it looks in Blackpool on a wet Wednesday. I can hear some banging music now coming from Lightpool. 
on the comedy carpet yeah the play in the light pool display you know where they have the projections on the tower it's really really good if you get a chance to come down and see it i'll probably do a video on it especially but anyway that was blackpool on a wet wednesday middle of the week what do you think um, pretty quiet yeah um, I hope you could hear me by the way, I'm not using the microphone, I couldn't find my microphone so I'm just using the built-in microphone on the device. It's stopped raining now, I don't need my umbrella. So uh, there you go, I hope you like the video, if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. And as you said to Sandy, I want you to be a policeman. He said, I want you to be sworn in. So he said swear, so I started to swear, and they had to put me outside till I'd finished. <laughs>